What's going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexia and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And today in this episode we're going to be doing a couple of super quick things here in the main game. I've got something cool that I want to do on screen for you guys. And after that we are then going to be heading to the test realm to check out the brand new Gummy Star passive ability which was just added to the supreme star amulet and we can go and check that out in the test round so yeah this one sounds incredible from what i've seen i haven't actually seen the in action so i thought we'd kind of do this in today's episode three two one claim the hive um but yeah how are we all doing today i hope you guys and girls are amazing stacking up those brown bear quests all those black bear quests as well and making some serious honey so yeah basically just before we go and head over to the test realm i currently am on my 70th takedown of the commando chick so it kind of seems like every 10 levels or so we've had something really really cool as a reward and yeah i wanted to do this like in this episode here to begin with uh we're gonna go and take him down for the 70th time to kind of see what cool stuff we actually get so yeah we're gonna do that very very quickly to begin with now in terms of black bear quests and stuff i am currently on i think it's quest number 14 13 or 14 i can't quite remember so i'm not like speeding through these super quick i'm kind of just enjoying them as they come and um, but yeah i'm currently on variety fetcher 2 uh which is like 100 million from four different fields so yeah these quests are actually really really good they haven't scaled up like super duper crazy uh, but i do think that the last few are going to be kind of mad so yeah we're going to do those in an episode don't worry i'm just kind of doing like the the quests in the middle and i think i'm pretty much like one or two quests away from the first of two free eggs and the first one is the gifted silver egg so i think we'll probably get that in the next couple of quests anyway i tell you what just before we go and take down commando chick of course Let's go and check the light goal from last episode. Um, so yeah, we actually set this one pretty high. We set this one at 7,000. Um, and yeah, the video didn't get as many views as usual, but you never know. Well, let's go and check. Let's go and see how we did. So 7,000 is pretty high. Um, how did we do? Let's go and take a little cheeky look. Are you ready? Three, two, one. And... Oh no! <laughs> We get so close. Like, this is two episodes back to back where we just got so close, but not quite. We're on 6,800 right now. So, yeah, I don't know if that's going to go to 7,000 by the time I finish this episode, but I think within the next day, it definitely will get there. So, yeah, once again, thank you so much. 7,000 is really high. And, yeah, we're so, so close. So, I tell you what we'll do. Um, Should we drop it down a little bit? Yeah, let's go for... Uh, can we go for 6,000 likes in this episode, please? That would be amazing. But even so, you guys you guys are still incredible hustle. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, it's really, really cool to always check. We've smashed so many goals. Uh, and yeah, I'm really, really grateful. So still, thank you very much. Right, okay. So uh, yeah, if you saw last episode, you would have seen that as well as checking out the brand new Black Bear Mythic questline, we also did the code with an insane Cactus Field boost. So I'm not 100% sure of that code is still valid as of right now but i kind of just wanted to come to the machine yeah look at this <laughs> so as soon as like a code i don't know actually look at this i paid 117 billion for the cactus field boost and now it is straight back down to number 15 costing 3 billion <laughs> That's mad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is just kind of... I've said this quite a few times now, but it always fascinates me how the market boost changes, like, based off when the codes come out. And it's kind of insane that, like, a couple of days ago, we paid so much for it because there was a code, and then all of a sudden, boom, it is straight back down to the bottom again. Uh, but yeah, that was a mad code. We made 198 billion in half an hour we did it yeah we did it for half an hour 198 billion uh, but we paid 120 billion for it so we still made a really nice profit but um <laughs> i just thought i'd check that that's the first time that i've checked it since and it's gone down an awful lot so i would assume that would probably mean the code is no longer valid uh but yeah i just thought that was kind of interesting anyway 
As I kind of mentioned, just before we jump back into the test realm uh, and go and check out this brand new Gummy Star ability, I'm going to go and take down the Commando Chick for the 70th time. It is going to take a while. They are definitely taking much, much longer for me now. They probably take about 10 minutes or so per level, uh, and it's still currently at level 15. So I would imagine at some point Commando Chick would go up to level 16, and that means I'm going to get way more dodges, so it's probably going to take even longer. Uh, but yeah, it does take a little while. I've got to follow him around, try and get those Vicious Beast by. Uh, I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. Ooh, okay, we're getting super duper low. Here we go. Here we go. The 70th Commando Chick takedown. And what did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Oh, look at that. 2.6 billion honey. <laughs> okay. All right. So wait, hang on. So 2.6 billion honey we got as a reward then. Didn't we get 1.3 billion last time for the 60th takedown? I can't quite remember. So it seems like, I think it was roughly about that. So what was it? I don't know. I can't quite remember. I'd have to check my picked about it in an episode. But it seems like um, every 10 levels, so like past 50 so 60 70 i would imagine 80 as well instead of gaining like some cool items you basically just get a ton of honey <laughs> okay um so i do think it's kind of worth it that's a that's a nice little amount of honey there 2.6 billion for the 70th takedown uh we didn't get anything else too special we just got some bitter berries a few pineapples a ticket that kind of thing but we did get that 2.6 bill uh, for taking it down for the 70th time. So yeah, basically, I'm just going to keep doing it in the background. So I kind of do maybe like a couple a day or something. I don't go too crazy with it, but I don't know. Maybe could we get to 100? I don't know. It depends how quickly it's going to scale up. <laughs> It would be quite cool to get to 100 takedowns, though. I'll work on it. We'll see how close we can get. Anyway, right, so I'm going to go and uh, jump into the test realm. I'll see you guys there. Okie dokies, here we go. So, yeah, three, two, one. Clayton the Hive for the second time in the episode. Uh, yeah, welcome to the test realm. Oh, yeah, just, just kind of like an FYI. I have zero control over the test realm and who plays in here. This is, like, completely to do with on it. Um, so, like, I think every now and again he used to, like, put a, a link or something to the test realm for people to apply to it but like i have zero control over it um so yeah i don't i don't really know how he does it to be honest um but yeah i just kind of just wanted to let you guys know like it's, it's not up to me i have no power here i have zero power just just a terrible character in the test room that's that's literally it but uh okay so yeah what we're gonna do now is we are going to hopefully try and generate ourselves a few bronze star amulets because if you remember correctly a couple of episodes ago when we took a look at the, um, oh, what was it called? So, so far we've seen Pop Star, Guiding Star, and Star Shower. That was it. So we looked at the Star Shower passive, which is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, on it has put these new passives, which are meant for the Supreme Star Amulet, but he has put them on the bronze so people can actually test them. Uh, so yeah, what I need to do is I basically just need to go and grind some honey. <laughs> Because I don't really have very much honey in here. But hopefully if we can get like 50 million honey or something, uh, then I can go and actually get uh, what we're looking for. So yeah, bear with. I'm just going to go and maybe boost up a couple fields. Going to do some grinding. And yeah, I will meet you guys back when I've got a bit more honey. And we're going to need gumdrops for this one. Okay, we've got 360 gumdrops, which hopefully will be enough to see it. What field are we going to get? Clover! Uh, okay, why not? Huh, okay, one thing that I'm a little bit confused about right now is um, if you watch that episode where we were generating to try and get the star shower on our amulets, uh, you can see here that what we've actually got right now is guiding star, which is the one where you need 100 inspire tokens to trigger it. And yeah, I just like, we're realistically not going to be able to trigger this with this character unless it's you know going to take absolutely ages. But weirdly, the star shower passive is still on my character even though it's not actually on my Bronze Star Amulet. So I'm really confused about this. Is this like, if you get it once, is it going to always stay on your character? I doubt it. Maybe this is just kind of like a test realm only style thing. Um, it's really, really weird because I'm literally counting the Star Shower passive as I get the boost tokens. So I've literally got both of those running at the same time. Now, you will actually be able to have multiples on one amulet at the same time, but I have no idea why this is happening right now. I'm not complaining. It's kind of cool, but oh, did I just miss a star shower? Oh, and there's a pop star. There's a pop star. Okay, so yeah, check this out. This is like the pop star one. It's like this blue one just like rocking about the field. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I need a few more to actually do my ability, but 
Yeah, I don't know why they're double stacking. That's so weird. Hmm. Oh, here comes Star Shower. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Man, it's actually like, it, it goes really quick. I wasn't even expecting, oh, I didn't even, oh, I was going to get prepped for it. I was going to be like, okay, let's count down the tokens. But yeah, I accidentally triggered it. But yeah, that's uh, when you collect 50 boost tokens. It gives you the, uh, the, um, it gives you the uh, Star Shower ability. Um, and yeah, that other one, I think that's definitely Pop Star because as that blue flower, uh, the blue star is like going around the field, it's actually like a little bubble trail. Um, so yeah, technically we haven't seen Guiding Star yet. But I don't think we've had it on an amulet. No, we have. Of course we have. But yeah, we haven't seen anyone trigger it in the fields. Um, but yeah, you do need 100 Inspire tokens, which is really tough. All right. So yeah, I'm going to try this once. And then if we don't get it, then I'm just going to go and grind some more honey. So we need the brand new Gummy Star ability to take a look at. So here we go. Come on on it. Three, two, one. Gummy Star. Gummy Star. No, oh, it's a Guiding Star again. All right. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, all right. Let me keep trying. I'm going to go make some more honey. Okay, so yeah, currently Stickbug is serenading me with the dance of his people. Um, but yeah, we're like really, really, really... Oh, jeez, hello, Stickbug. Let's <laughs> get the life out of me. <laughs> I'm one away from activating the um, the star shower again. So uh, yeah, let's actually just check that out quickly. Let's go to a field with a bit of space here. Uh, and yeah, we just need one more boost token and it will be activated. So just in case you missed it the first time around, I thought we'd just do it again. Uh, okay, here we go. There it is, big star gets put in the field and then it activates a bunch of these little stars. So you can actually like jump in, in the way of these. It gives you a three times um, inspire token as well. Oh, but weirdly, the inspire tokens don't count towards the guiding star. Hmm. I guess it just gives you like a full stack so it doesn't technically count as you picking them up. Interesting, okay. Anyway, right, I'm a little bit more honey away from having uh, 50 million so we can do two generations. If we don't get it, but hopefully, hopefully we'll get it. Right, okay, 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 we've got 50. All right, let's do this. So this is two more generations um, and yeah, hopefully we'll get it within this. The thing is like, this is kind of interesting. Does the stick bug music stop if you come in here? It doesn't. Stick bug is global. Stick bug music never stops. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. <laughs> oh, the amount of times I've heard that song. Um, yeah, okay, so. <laughs> It's kind of interesting, actually, because now we actually have four of the six which have been released. So Pop Star, Guiding Star, Star Shower, and Gummy Star. And on it said that he's going to try and introduce six of them. And this is kind of interesting because the more that are actually introduced, the harder it's going to be to get the combination that you actually want. Um, so that's kind of interesting. This is what he's talking about when he says it's going to be quite difficult. Um, but anyway, here we go. Come on, Gummy Star, Gummy Star, Gummy Star. Yes! <laughs> we got it. Okay, boom. So yeah, this is the brand new passive Gummy Star replace that bad boy and yeah uh, i'm gonna wait for stick bug to finish <laughs> and then we'll read it out <laughs> stick bug has trapped me when i played no part in his downfall unbelievable <laughs> i've never seen that before i literally got trapped inside the star cave <laughs> what oh now it's night time with even louder music <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Anyway, so uh, from what it seems like here, we've got some good news and we've got some bad news. So yeah, I know this is like super duper small on the screen, but I'll just read it out for you. So the good news is it is in the test realm. It says here, using gumdrops has a 0.6% chance and that goes up by 0.05% per gifted colorless bee in your hive uh, and it summons a gummy star which grants a 1.5 times white pollen capacity and goo for 60 seconds so it seems like this is going to be a really good passive for white field farming uh, it sounds really good but anyway it goes on to say here the gummy star grows as you collect goo granting more bonus goo up to 3.5 times the larger it gets. After 60 seconds, the gummy star pops, scattering honey tokens equal to 10% of the goo collected, and at least 10 gumdrop tokens over the field, and that increases with goo collected as well. Cool down of five minutes, but it says here, note this ability is in early testing and has no visuals. No, that's what I was looking forward to, to seeing it in action. But I'm so glad that we actually got to like get it and then just, you know, we'll give it a go. Let's see if we can actually get it to trigger. This ability sounds incredible, especially if you're someone like me who uses, um, where's the nighttime music? What? <laughs> It's regular music, but it's nighttime. What's going on? That's so weird. Yeah, this ability sounds incredible. So if you're someone like me who 
uses lots and lots of gumdrops when you're like fe uh, like farming in the fields. I think this ability is going to be insane because it gives you a uh, white boost, it gives you capacity boost, and it gives you goo boost. And then the goo that you collect then like it main like means like how much honey token you get, which is equal to the amount, and you also get free gumdrops back. I think this is re this sounds really powerful. <laughs> like I don't really know what to expect with it, but it sounds really powerful. So I tell you what we'll do. Um, let's just go and I've got a bunch of gumdrops here. Let's just buy a few more of them. I'm just gonna like drop them in a field basically, and we're gonna see if we can actually get this ability to trigger. Okay, here we go. So countdown has ended. So it does have that five minute countdown. Um, so you can't you know use it back to back to back. There is gonna be a five minute wait in between. So I think that kind of makes sense, especially because it's so powerful. But if this ability is triggering three times every 15 minute field boost, it could potentially be really, really good. So in terms of visuals, I don't think we're going to be able to see the gummy star, but hopefully it will at least scatter the tokens. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But it is going to take a while to actually trigger because it's such a small percentage and we don't really have very good Ds here. So we're not exactly even getting like much of a boost. Um, but yeah, I'll keep an eye on things. What's that? Gummy star aura. What? Look at that. Okay, so I think it's actually triggered in the background. So this runs for what? 50 seconds? So technically, yeah, there we go. It's called the Gummy Star Aura. This is giving us the white boost, the capacity boost, and the goo boost. And after that minute is finished, we should see the tokens. Unfortunately, there's no Gummy Star, as you can see. Obviously, the visuals aren't there just yet. It is the test realm after all. But let's see what happens in about 30 seconds time. I wonder if we're going to get tokens. We should do, right? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Eight seconds, seven seconds, six Five, four, three, two, one. There they are! Hey, look, 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 look. So that is when the, the star would pop normally. And what you're getting in the field is it's being covered with honey tokens, which are equal to um, an amount that you've actually collected from your backpack. And you're also getting the gumdrops back based off how much goo you've actually made at the time. So yeah, obviously the actual star isn't there just yet. I did think before we made this video that there would be the star. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but I actually think this one is gonna be really, really good. So of course, like as soon as the visuals are back in the game, I will totally come and jump back in so we can see the gummy star in action. Look at on it. Number one on the board, 2.2 .2 million battle points. Something tells me he hasn't got those legitimately. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. So that is the fourth of uh, the six passive star abilities which are going to be coming on the Supreme. Um, so in case you missed the video, the reason why I have it on the bronze is because that's just in the test realm. So like more people can get access to, uh, you know, looking at them basically and testing them out. So uh, yeah, that's actually really, really cool. I think that could potentially be one which I really want to have in the main game. Um, but because there's six of them, like who knows as of right now as to which one is going to be the best one, which one's going to be the more useful one. I feel like it's also going to depend on what kind of player you are. So, you know, there will be ones that will be better for blue type hives. There will be other ones that will be better for red type hives. That one might be better for me because mine's down the middle, but we use a lot of gumdrops. And I guess time will kind of tell as to which one of those is most useful. But yeah, unfortunately, I think that's probably going to be about it for this episode here today. Of course, if there's anything new, I will be